it's like these conditions that we've been living in this new normal it's just like the strain that's like put like to some degree every single relationship in my life has been like stressed and strained and you can see the toll it's been taken on people it's like it feels like oh, everybody's being punished and then so therefore you know in subtle ways um either sometimes people are lashing out on it's like there's these people from ivory towers you can't touch you can't can't yell at them so they yell at what's close to them what you see mundanely every day and uh it's like through the, the supply chain bs it's been like all my and, and gas prices dude okay the gas just the gas alone has stressed and and stretched people out so bad where it, it's making uh, it's just you can feel a, a strain on on your relationship it was especially if it's business but even on the personal tip because people are being stretched and making life really hard on us uh, for travel through the gas prices and it's like uh, for me um uh same thing uh because of all the the new normal it's just my uh, li driver's license i lost it just from traffic tickets and just can't pay the people to get my freaking license back and even if i did got both my cars taken just because unfortunately everything was foobar and in limbo and uh it's a, it's almost it feels like i'm in a hole so deep now never get out or i'll have to like sacrifice a lot to just get back to zero you know what i'm saying so it's like my tank's already below empty and i'm still maintaining but it just it's it's really it's really feast or famine and uh it's just everything is just by the skin of your freaking teeth and it's not just me I, I get it i get why people are complaining like dang these materials cost too much um man i gotta drive here and here and there freaking uh they're just ornery about it you know what i'm saying it's just below the surface with, with and this is across the board like uh and uh put a big strain on relationships another thing you know people having to go out in public and get stuff acquire stuff like uh i know it can be difficult and it's also it's kind of uh they put on a big parade about it you know like everybody with the masks and with the top down kind of coercion of you better do what we say or else uh we're gonna make your life difficult I mean, uh, it's, it's just, uh, really never seen a time like this where it was just so indiscriminately raining down shizzle just on people in general. And then, you know, it's kind of like, you know, you just gotta learn to live with it because if you just freaking let it eat you up and just give up in a way that's you'll be that's what they want they need you to beg for help and uh so you know, these certain people that was i think that's part of the reason why they're doing this because they're getting people really dependent on big brother's handouts you know what i'm saying and uh it's like well through also because of the fear like there's been whole pockets of people in my life who just went total isolationist and out of fear of uh contracting sicknesses they've uh straight up was quick to just discard a bunch of people and and it's kind of like in the bible it says those that 
those who, what is it, those who are willing to lose their life will find their life. But those who cling to life will end up losing their life. You know what I'm saying? It, it's, we live in very weird, upside down, tuned down, backwards, inverted, perverted, and deserted times, man. It's, uh, it's really crazy. And also, I mean, on another note, while this has all been going on, um, it's like, uh, they've pushed up the Agenda 21, which they want to get us all into cities, and it's like, right now, trying to find a house, a place to live is, like, ridiculously, you gotta jump through hoops, you gotta wait in, like, lists with, like, there's 17 other people competing for the same property, but you gotta pay money just to be in the lottery, it would seem, and... It's very newsome. It's nuisensical. Or it's a nuisance because who's got extra money just to be waiting on an unsure thing? Like, uh, it is not just me and my situation, but I've seen many people go through it, dude. From, I mean, uh, since the beginning of the freaking lockdowns and the big, great social upheaval change. It's also like, they're doing this gentrification, you can see it. You go to the east side of Flint, and there's just massive amounts of vacant lots. I mean, there's nowhere out there anymore. Even, and I've been out to the country, to nice places, there's even bandos there. It's just because they want the properties to fail, so they can, they can demo it and build again later. With with higher rates, higher rent, um, redevelopment uh, is what is it is also called, and you can see this is heavily prevalent. Um, and I'm sure many, it's it's like the corporations, they're doing great because now they're like a monopoly, and all the they squeezed out a lot of small business, dude, and that trickles down, and makes it more difficult to get supplies for people in the in the freaking, um, you know, construction industry, like myself, I mean, that's, that's almost like my bread and butter, but, you know, I do other work, too, because it's, you know, you can get little subcontracted gigs, like, uh, it intermits, intermitted throughout your, you know, your year, and, uh, Sometimes also, you know, something dries up. You just got to do something else for a minute in the meantime until, you know, either conditions change or whatnot. But look, it's really tricky, but there's a lot of actually, there's a lot of freedom in it too. But it's just, you got to, you got to make it, make, make it work for you, you know. But it's. That that is causing another kind of social strain too, because now I got to see people on the verge of destitute homelessness, people like uh, just right like a uh, a paycheck away from the streets and starvation. And, and look, that is almost like punishing. These are punishing, scary kind of like worrisome feelings that you're gonna get from from this. But so far, so good. Uh, but, yeah, man, the strain on relationships, like my personal relationships, everybody's stressed out to the max. And some people do a good job for at times of uh, making it through, but sometimes you see their mask slip, and you can see the fear and the unknown and uncertainty, and it bothers you. Because, I mean, what can you do to help them when I myself... I'm in this boat that's filling up with water. I'm, I'm just trying to chuck out buckets, but it just keeps filling up. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I mean, with also, you know, with uh, school, I wouldn't want to send my kids to school these days because it's there. It seems like uh, it's very authoritarian, and I don't want, wouldn't want my children raised in a prison, military school tribunal type setting. You know what I mean? And it it was covertly that all along, but look, you can it's overt now, and I'm sure that look, and to have 
mouths to feed and children are responsible for. Young children. Uh, it, that's got to be quite a strain on people's psyche and, and their soul and their heart and their emotional and their emotional health. I mean, because you got your mental health, but emotional health and mental health are linked. I mean, they're separate parts of the compartmental whole of people. So if you can't, you know, look, sometimes you can get, you can't get somebody's mind to crack, but if you get their heart to crack, their mind will crack or and, and vice versa. You can stress someone's mind so much that they can have a heart attack. It even says that also. Men's hearts will fail them from fear uh, of the things coming up on the earth. I mean, and it's like, uh, and, and then on the same tip, there is real cataclysmic events taking place right now, like with the, that volcano over there. And uh, I don't know, it was predictively programmed that the mountain would slide off into the into the water and create a giant tidal wave. I don't know if that's just another, you know, ploy um, to more fear, fear porn, where they're just constantly bombarding people with fearful uh, thoughts and images. You know what I'm saying? And insinu innuendos and insinuations. Uh, you know what I'm saying? It's just, yeah, we're being really socially engineered and conditioned to be uh, in a state of constant panic and fear and scarcity and uh, urgency. Like, we gotta do something now. But that's that's problem, reaction, solution. You know what I'm saying? So, seeing all these, these uh, yes, the, these unsettling and uh, emotionally draining and pestering and pesky and just a lot of pessimistic and uh, just people having uh, social anxiety, like having to go out in public and seeing people muzzled up and just like, just it, it is, it is like a circus. It's like, uh, it's like they're really rattling the cage and rattling the sabers and just like pimp smacking up all the black eyeing people and fat lipping them and putting their heads on pumpkin all around town and we just gotta sit back and act like it's not going on you know what I'm saying like it, it, we're being forced really to live in in kind of like a condition just to go along with the lies and the, and the propaganda and the you know, I mean, this is really, this is really, really sophisticated. This is really, really doctored, <laughs> tailored, and engineered to have the max, like, impact of social change, of steering the population, of steering the herd, herd psychology, or a stampede, it's the crowd psychology. And no joke, man, no joke. It's had its effect on everybody. I've seen a lot of people have moments where they were like really, really emotional and uh, with good cause. So it's not like it's just, it's not like it's not without cause. Like there's not a, it's not, it's, it's a reaction and people are just reacting to another thing. You know what I'm saying? And it's. It's, uh, yeah, it's really tough times on relationships. I wonder if anybody else is seeing this where business, personal, family, uh, even your random dude in the street, like, look, you, you can really see the effect it's having on them. Like, I've had conversations with people. I mean, I've seen people in good spirits here and there, too. But, um, you know, little intermittent intermittently and I've seen a lot of people coping as best they can and doing okay but I've also seen a lot of people have their moments and some like for me I had prolonged moments where it was like it was just such a strain on me like um uh, and uh like uh, all the nature of all my relationships with everybody has like switched and altered a lot like drastically in the short Two years, you know what I'm saying? 